Hey guys, uh, as you probably know I haven't been on YouTube for what, nine months and uh, I apologise if some of you enjoyed the videos that I stuck up or uh, missed them, uh, for that I apologise, uh, but what I'm about to talk about would probably explain why uh, and what I'd like to do is talk about the elephant in the room and by that I mean for the last six years I have been suffering with depression uh, well actually I, 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 suffering isn't the right word I would have to say battling with depression uh, I do take medication for it I'm on my I think I'm on my fifth different type of tablet and the tablets I'm on and out are as soon as I take it they're making me sick uh, I get constipated uh, I'm constantly hungry I feel nauseous uh, so I'll need to go back to the doctor and get another tablet or something else uh, so this is something that I've been battling with uh, really struggling before I was always a very confident person in myself I wasn't arrogant or show-offy but I was confident in that I could if there was something that needed done if I if I mean, I, I could easily talk in front of a crowd, I could talk in front of thousands of people without a problem. I was always very active, uh, and now I absolutely hate everything about me. Uh, and this is something that re I'm really struggling with at the moment, is my depression. And uh, that's why I kind of took a break from YouTube. I had, I mean, I'd, I'd created a few groups on Facebook and pictography and it just seemed all I was doing was giving and giving and I wasn't really getting anything back in return and people were just taking advantage of either my channel, myself or the group for their own gain uh, and I just I couldn't do it anymore I, I, I couldn't keep continuing to do that and it, I absolutely love photography I love learning photography I don't know everything about photography, but I love learning and I love teaching it. Well, not, not, not really teaching it, I just love sharing things about photography. Uh, so yeah, the depression, uh, listen, I've been struggling with it for six years. And uh, it has totally taken hold of my life. And uh, there's days when... There's days when you cannot believe how dark it gets and there, at one point there was weeks and months that was the darkest. Uh, just just so you know, there was a point probably three years ago where for a good three, four months all the only thought that consumed me, the only thought that I could think of was suicide. I would never have done that to my mother or my daughter or my sister or my friends uh, but it's all that I could think of uh, so what happens is in, in May every year in May every year in the UK it is National Mental Health Week and uh, the subject for mental health this year is anxiety and it's something that I suffer from as a side, not a side effect but a part of my depression uh, if I go for an interview or if, say, a friend says, let's go to the pub, I get full body sweats, I get anxiety and kind of panic attacks, I get diarrhoea, I just panic so much. Uh, and it was the same doing the YouTube. Uh, the first video I ever uploaded was the eighth take I uploaded it, or eighth attempt of uploading it, because every time I uploaded it, I deleted it because I thought, I just hated myself, I didn't like it, uh, and I still get that now, uh, but the reason why I'm doing this video is just to give some people some idea that they're not alone if if you are suffering from de from depression, uh, it isn't because you're weak, it isn't because you can't handle it, Go. it's because you're, you're strong and you just need that little bit of help, go and seek medical help. The doctor might prescribe you something, they might prescribe you I mean, some other type where you don't need medication. Uh, 
definitely let your friends and family members know. And just to give you an idea, that it was about two years I had depression before letting anybody know. Uh, friends and family would come over, how are you? I'd say I was fine. As soon as they left, that was me. I'd just sleep in my room, eat in my room. I'd shut the world off. Uh, and that's how I went. And it, all my friends around about me were the type, oh, well, if you've got depression, just wake up tomorrow morning and say I'm going to be positive and just go on with it. And they had no clue as to what depression really was. Uh, no idea whatsoever. That, I mean, I'd, uh, I mean, they have no idea that if it was that easy, nobody would have it. Uh, so some signs, I would say, if, if you've got a friend uh, that's maybe stopped going out, stopped attending social events, or uh, shunning away from a lot of activities, that that's what I did. Uh, I mean, it, it may be just a case of maybe they're, they're, they're drinking or maybe they're eating a lot, maybe they've put on a lot of weight. Uh, and that's what I've done as well. I, I binge eat now, uh, comfort food. Uh, and I absolutely hate it. I hate everything about my whole being right now. But what I would say is go and get some help. What I'll do in the video, I shall put the links to the mental mental health and that, this is a stigma as well that it gets stuck with it mental health as soon as people hear mental health they think oh, do you know what I mean and it's not that at all I definitely think they need to get away from that but I don't know if they need to call it something else uh, but yeah I've been I was, like I said, I was just about to say struggling with it again but I've been battling with the uh, mental health for just on six years I've been taking medication uh, for three and a half years uh, three years three and a half years on and off uh, and listen I'm on my fifth set of tablets different types of tablets because just whatever I was on before wasn't working so if you do feel as if uh, you might need to I mean, even if you're, you're not com comfortable at all talking to anybody you even want to send me a, an email or a message via YouTube by all means please do so uh, I'll try and give as much help, support and advice on this as I can. Uh, I'm not a professional at it, I'm just I'm going through it myself. Uh, but definitely if you've got a friend, a relative, a brother, a sister, a mother, a father who has depression, go and let them know that, that you're there for them. Uh, because with depression, you feel as if the whole world... When, I'd probably say depression for me, to describe it in photography terms, is like standing in a railway station by myself, kind of vibrating with all the lights out and everybody's walking past. Just think, I, I suppose it's like, a, like being a beggar on the street. People see you, but they don't see you. And you could scream and shout and nobody, nobody's there to listen. So if you know anybody in your family, like I said, that may be suffering from that, go and let them know that you're there for them. Go and support them. Just in, just knowing that they're there could be I mean, all that they need. You, you just don't know. Uh, so that's why I haven't had any videos up for the last nine months. Uh, just I've been struggling with my depression. Uh, and it's just such, a sh it's just the, the worst, it's the worst thing I, ever. Uh, so yeah, I'll put some details down below, some helplines and mental health if you want to contact them. Uh, what I'm going to do as well, I don't, I mean I'm unemployed at the moment, I don't make a lot of money from YouTube, but what I'm going to do is the month of April, May and June, any money I make from YouTube, I will be given to mental health. It wouldn't be a lot, uh, do you know what I mean? But I mean, if anybody's interested in doing that or donating to it, then please, by all means, that'd be fantastic. Uh, and thanks very much, guys. I will be uploading a few. I'm going to try and do at least two videos a month. I'm going to try and organise that so that I can get two videos and start getting more content on the channel. Like I said, I love photography. Uh, Thanks very much guys. Cheers.